Hey there, AI enthusiasts! Today we're diving into the world of healthcare and artificial intelligence. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, also known as CMS, recently made an important announcement regarding the use of AI in determining healthcare coverage. You see, health insurance companies have been using algorithms and AI tools to make decisions about care and coverage for Medicare Advantage plan members. But here's the catch, the CMS has clarified that this practice is a big no-no. They want to protect patient rights and ensure that coverage decisions are based on individual patient circumstances, not just some computer program's calculations. Why is this clarification necessary, you ask? Well, it all started with lawsuits filed against United Health and Humana. These companies were accused of using a flawed AI tool to deny care to elderly patients. And let's face it, denying care to those who need it most is definitely not cool. The CMS wants to make sure that AI tools don't perpetuate biases or discrimination. They're urging insurers to be careful and mindful of the potential pitfalls of relying too heavily on algorithms. After all, AI is only as good as the data it's trained on, and if that data is biased or flawed, the decisions it makes could be too. To ensure compliance with these rules, the CMS is planning to increase its audit activities. They'll be keeping a close eye on insurance companies to make sure they're playing by the rules and not using AI to deny coverage unfairly. Now, let's take a look at what people are saying about this news. Some commenters are pointing out potential loopholes. They're wondering if insurance companies will find ways to work around these rules or if they'll simply find new, more subtle ways to use AI in their decision-making processes. Others are bringing up the historical use of AI in denying healthcare coverage. It's not the first time we've seen this issue. And that's why it's so important for the CMS to take a stand and set clear guidelines for the use of AI in healthcare. So, what do you think about this development? Do you believe that AI should have a role in determining healthcare coverage, or do you agree with the CMS that decisions should be based on individual patient circumstances? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today's AI News Update. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest in artificial intelligence. Until next time, keep on learning and exploring the fascinating world of AI.